start the first leg of my bucket list wine tour. I just can't think of a better place than right here, Sonoma County, California. And there's our driver. called our Rosso family blend. It's a 2022 vintage and traditionally a red blend is comprised of at least three different grape varieties. Uh, it's Barbera, Primitivo, Zinfandel, Petit Syrah. One of the amazing things about here at St. Francis is not only the great tasting wines they uh, curate here, but um, with the fields and the surrounding and the blue skies and the colors, why we love being in wine country, it's, it's uh, magical in its own way. This is Pinot Noir from, oh. the, from the Russian River Valley area. Um, you're going to get some notes of plum. Very, a little, very fruit forward initially, but then it finishes. It's not super complex wine at all. Cheers to wine and good friends. Our second stop here in Sonoma Valley is at the Iron Horse Winery. Highly recommended by a family friend and uh, can't wait to taste their wines. Me on over here to our home block Pinot Noir, and this one has a nice, rich, savory note to it. So, a lot of wines in the Russian River area lean a little bit more on a fruit forward end. This is still follows that, but it does have a little savory, kind of a little bit of an earthy background on it. What makes Sonoma Valley like different than any other place in the world? I think a lot of it is the diversity of the area because we have coastal Sonoma County, we have this Russian River area and different soil types, different microclimates. What makes Sonoma wines different than really any place else in the world? So Sonoma in particular, it, it comes from the climate. Um, so you're right against the coast there, as you can see, and it goes all the way to the Mayakama mountain range. Uh, you've got a couple of different microclimates in that area, but more than anything, kind of the mixture of the soils and the temperatures, it's turned into a great place to grow grapes like Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and then when you get to those hillsides, Cabernet. Um, when you're tasting the wines, people think of Sonoma, they think of Sonoma Pinot. They think of Sonoma Chardonnay. The Pinots are a little more fruit forward, they tend to be a bit richer. Uh, the Chardonnays have real nice bodies, but like the one you just tasted with ours, it's got the acidity to it. The secret, and a lot of people don't know it, I'd say is the cask. 